I distinctly remember seeing the Jurassic Park movie for the first time. You know, jaws dropped in the theater. It just blew my mind. Uh, I got to see dinosaurs, and this time they were real. We'd been doing tests for a few years in CG and trying to sort of see what could come next. And it was a big step between doing a chrome figure to doing a skinned animal. And that was the leap we had to make. For this game, more so than any Jurassic Park game that has come before, we want to recreate the feeling of the films in tone, in character, and certainly with the dinosaurs, feels like the original film. Players get to interact with these creatures that are so awesome and incredible on the big screen, and you want to dive into that world. Jesse! The T-Rex is like right on your heels, snapping at you, and uh, if you don't get out of the way, you are gonna get chomped. If you're not on your toes, and the dinosaurs get the better of you, things can end quite poorly. We reached out to uh, paleontologist Kevin Padian to essentially lecture the Jurassic Park team about some of the modern thinking uh, on dinosaurs, what some of the new science tells us. So we didn't want to make up things that just really didn't fit the science at all. We took all this information and we still felt that it was important to keep true to the movie. In general, we like to approach our dinosaurs as animals. Uh, they are very scary, but they're not monsters. They follow their nature. One of the things about animals is you, to keep in mind always, is you never know what it's really going to do two seconds from now. It's, it's not a dinosaur shooting game. We felt strongly that it really needed to be about a tooth and nail fight for survival with escape being your goal. You couldn't really do a Jurassic Park game without Tyrannosaurus Rex. You have to know the rules that the that the film set up, which is, you know, if you don't move, the T-Rex can't see you. Of course we're going to see Velociraptors. Those, those, those are the smart guys. They're the ones that are always thinking about how they're going to get you next. They're clever girls. Very clever girls. Now there is a new threat in the park, a new dinosaur that nobody's ever seen before. The new dinosaur that we're introducing to Jurassic Park is one of the most fascinating dinosaurs in the fossil record. It's a nocturnal hunter. It hides in the shadows. So the jungles are, are even scarier, kind of knowing that there's something out there that's, that's stalking you, kind of waiting for just the right moment to come in and attack. When you're first bitten, the poison rapidly results in disorientation, confusion, and hallucinations. This paralytic venom doesn't outright kill you. It leaves you alive, and you do not want to be left alive by this dinosaur. It's a slow, horrible, and fascinating death. We're being a little cagey with the details because characters in the game spend some time putting together those details as well. So uh, you'll have to take a look at the game to see how it all pans out. We have this island full of extremely energetic beasts who are now freed from their cages. I don't know if it's a wonderful place to be, but it's a wonderful place to imagine and a thrilling place for us to put players. So if you want to go back to Isla Nublar, this is your opportunity.